What is up everyone? Welcome to the first NFL draft profiles that we are going to be doing here on the channel. I am Jeffrey Kirby. Today what we're going to be doing is discussing and talking a little bit about Kenny Pickett, the quarterback from the University of Pittsburgh. We're going to be discussing uh, some of his intangibles and some of the stuff he brings. We're going to break down some of his pros, some of his cons. We're just going to talk about him a little bit. And overall, what are my thoughts on Kenny Pickett, the quarterback from Pitt? If you like these kind of videos, smash that like button, hit the red subscribe button, drop a comment, Turn on the notification bell, go to the description, click the link, Revolution Radio Live on Facebook, smash that like button over there. If you don't have Facebook, that's okay, you can follow us on Twitter at Rev Radio Live. And until then, let's get started. All right, so let's get started here with Kenny Pickett, quarterback from the University of Pittsburgh. He is regarded as one of the top quarterbacks in this coming up class. Uh, some will refer to him as possibly the best quarterback in this class. Uh, you could really make an argument for really much anyone, uh, but Kenny Pickett is right now stapled as probably the number one quarterback in uh, in this draft class, maybe outside of Matt Corral. Uh, just a little overview of Kenny Pickett. He is six foot three. Uh, he did weigh in at 220 pounds. Uh, just a little bit from the 2021 season, uh, he was sixth in passing yards with 4,319, 42 touchdowns, which was fourth in the country, seven interceptions with a 67.2% completion percentage. So those are all very good numbers, uh, especially if you're trying to look at uh, for the NFL. Uh, just a little bit of an uh, overview of him. Uh, he did take over as the starter in 2018. Uh, he now owns the, he is now the fourth highest, no, he now is fourth on the all-time school history list for passing yards with 8,541. Uh, he originally committed to Temple in April of 2016, but then he decommitted a month later than he did commit to Pitt in June, and that's where he's decided to stay. One other little tangent as well with Kenny Pickett is that he also did earn his master's degree in marketing, so he does have his degree as well. All right, now we are here. Go, we're going to be talking about his strengths and some of his weaknesses. Uh, first thing to me that pops out uh, for his strengths is just how accurate of a passer he is. He can make all the throws. Uh, he can move around in the pocket. He can. He always looks downfield. When he he can make all the levels on the outside, over the middle, the deep ball, he has it all. I don't think there's a throw that when you watch him on tape that he can't make. One other thing that we talk about is just how excellent he is at timing passes. Uh, there are certain passes, like I said, on the outside that you really need to have great timing with. And he shows excellent timing. And he also has great ball placement uh, for some of those, especially... Some of the passes that you need to put it in a specific spot uh, with the deep ball or name any kind of throw, he can make it and he will always put the ball uh, right where he need, where it needs to go. One other strength that I really like about him is just his mobility in the pocket. Um, he's able to move around in the pocket and that's kind of where we're going to get into uh, in terms of an NFL comparison that you can make for him. Um, with the way that he's able to move around the pocket, he looks downfield. He's always finding ways to make plays with his feet. Um, he's not a statue back there, which in today's NFL, you really cannot be a statue at all. Uh, so that's something that you really love to see. Another thing that's very nice for him as well is just the experience that he has. He's played and started in 50 games. Uh, well, he's definitely played in 50 games. Uh, I would have to confirm about the starts, uh, how many starts he has. But he's played in 50 games, which for college football, that is an, an insane amount. So you really like that, that you have a guy who's not inexperienced. But the one thing, though, that you really love as well is just how thick he is. Uh, he's hard to bring down. And again, with today's NFL, there are going to be times where your quarterback's going to take hits. And he's kind of, in a way... 
One thing that you really like about Kenny Pickett as well is he's a thicker kind of quarterback. And that's where that size comes into play at being 6'3", 220. Uh, he's, not, he's not a small quarterback that's going to be easy to bring down. And that's something that you really like. And one other part that you really like to see, and that comes apart with the mobility in the pocket, is just his internal clock. He can read and he can feel pressure, and he's able to avoid those pretty damn well. And that is something, especially in today's NFL with how the pass rushers are, you really like that in your quarterback. Now, moving on real quick to just some of his weaknesses, I really did not see all that many weaknesses for Kenny Pickett. Uh, One of the things, though, that is kind of a con with him is just his smaller hands. He has to wear gloves, which to most people may not sound like a big deal, but in terms of the NFL and how these owners and GMs are going to be looking at these guys, they're really going to be looking at that. And he has, I believe, eight and a quarter inch hands, which is very small because even at times where you consider nine inch hands to be kind of small. So that's something to watch out for. And that's something that teams are going to take into consideration as well. One other thing is he is tepic. One thing that you do notice throughout his tape is he is due for a few mistaken decisions per game. And now you could almost say that about any quarterback and every quarterback, but there are times where you kind of look at the decision that he made and you ask yourself, what were you thinking there? Uh, But that could be something that could really be cleaned up uh, just also with experience and help uh, from, from your quarterback's coach. And one other question that could be brought up is, is he a one year wonder? Uh, This is the first year that he really came on the scene. Uh, when you look at 2020 and beyond, uh, if he would have came out in the 2020 draft, he could have been a late round pick. So that really starts to make you wonder as well. And it's similar to my NFL comparison uh, for him. I have two NFL comparisons, and you'll see what I'm about to say here in a second when it comes to Kenny Pickett. Uh, Kenny Pickett kind of reminds me in a way of Derek Carr and Joe Burrow. And you ask yourself, how could that be the case? Well, when you watch the film, uh, just watching Derek Carr, or when you watch Derek Carr, watching his tape and his arm talent, you really start to see Derek Carr when you really look at it. And it comes back from a mobility standpoint, that's where you really see Joe Burrow. Because Joe Burrow was excellent in being able to move around in the pocket and stay and was able to look downfield to make those throws. And that's something that Kenny Pickett has become excellent at. And that's where I, you really can see Joe Burrow uh, with his uh, just with his mechanics and just the way that he is in the pocket. All right, so this play here, this first play we're going to show you against Tennessee, just watch his ability to sniff out the pressure uh, from his middle and on his right side, move around in the pocket using his eyes. He sees that he has a receiver here in the corner right there. And he's able to just th- make, watch this throw right here, just across his body. You really love that in a NFL or in a future NFL player. We're gonna watch it from this view here. So you're going to see he gets the pressure through the middle in his right, able to move around in the pocket and watch this throw just across his body. You love to see that in your quarterback. Just here again, just sniffs out the pressure, rolls out to the rolls out to his right. Boom, touchdown, beautiful ball placement there. All right, so this next play here, you're going to see, so he's in the pocket, feels the pressure, he needs to move in the pocket, throws off his back foot, and makes a beautiful throw on the sideline as well. Uh, So let's go back to that just one more time. So you see him here in the pocket, keeping his eyes downfield, he, f- he starts to feel the pre- he feels like the uh, pocket is starting to collapse he may be able to move out of the pocket makes a beautiful strike uh, for a first down there all right so this next play here on the goal line just watch just watch his full ability so he's able to just make that man miss for just a second look at that ball placement right there so the fake able to move around in the pocket boom look at that ball placement right right up here right on top of the defender here so just watch this one more time just watch where this ball placement is bam that right there is what you love in a quarterback 
beautiful ball placement where you, in an area where you really don't have much to maneuver with, this is what you like right here. A, a ball player that can really place the ball right where you need it to where your receiver can make a play on it. All right, here's another play here from, uh, so here you go. Just watch this, again, ball placement on the deep ball. Accurate, right where his receiver can get it, right in stride. Just watch this one more time. Again, beautiful ball. Boom. That is beautiful ball placement on the deep ball right there. All right, so this play here is just showing off his mobility. He's able to fight off the pressure, and he's able to go and make a play with his legs. That is something that you really like in your quarterback. And just watch this play here. Off his back foot. Beautiful. Just watch this again. Maybe moved around in the pocket a tad bit too early, but it's all right when you're able to make throws like that off your back foot. All right, so this is the final play I'm going to show you. So just, I love this play here just because it shows multiple things. You you see that he's able to go through his progressions, move around in the pocket, throw across his body, and that was just a beautiful ball in an area where you really don't have that much uh, area to work with here. Again, move around in the pocket, keeping the eyes as downfield. Boom. Beautiful ball again. I love the be. I love the fact that he was able to show that he's able to go through his progressions, move around in the pocket, show that he's mobile, and just make a beautiful throw across his body in a tight window for a touchdown. All right, so there is my reaction. There is my breakdown of Kenny Pickett and his film. Uh, one thing that you really notice is just. His some of his progression and some of the improvements that he has made throughout his career at Pitt, his completion percentage steadily rises a little bit more year by year. But one thing that is kind of alarming and kind of excluding 2020 because you have to take that with a little bit of a skew, uh, just the amount of yardage where this year in 2021, he had over 4,000 yards. And before that, his previous highest was just above 3,000 yards. So it kind of makes you question maybe a little bit of was he a one-year wonder kind of deal. But at the same time, I think you really like that. And the experience really shows. And that showed in its final year in itself. If you like these kind of videos, again, thank you everyone for tuning in. If you like these kind of videos, smash the like button, hit the rest subscribe button, drop a comment, turn on the notification bell. Make sure to go to the description, click the link, Revolution Radio Live on Facebook. And if you don't have a Facebook where you can follow us on Twitter at Rev Radio Live. And until then, hope to see you in the next breakdown. We're also going to be continuing to do reaction videos as well. So hope to see you then. Till then, peace out. Oh, oh, oh.